Hi everyone, Mary at Espresso Press Design. Welcome on this February, what is it, 13th? It looks like we escaped the nor'easter. I'm a little, I don't know, I was kind of looking forward to it. Maybe having the world stop for a day <laughs> would have been nice. But, um, nevertheless, the sun is shining and I don't know where it is. But thank you for stopping by. And today we're going to do the um, metal and uh, painted hearts, or not hearts, well hearts and emboss. This is for Eve, as promised. Uh, how to show you how I did that. First, the usual housekeeping. Thank you, Susan, Maike, Maike, Sarah, and Laura, Lori. Thank you for your purchases and your kind reviews. Charlotte, thank you for your kind concern over my mental state in a video about a year ago. And no worries, it must not have been anything of major importance or lasting importance. Um, new products is, this is vintage herbal papers. Just various herbs in like wallpaper-like patterns and I only printed one. <clears throat> I've only been printing one because my digital stack is getting out of control. And uh, Italian floral fashion, which is very shabby, distressed. This is from Elegance Feminine, an Italian, an old Italian magazine with some very Victorian shabby distressed flowers and that's new. I think that's five pages. Uh, herbal is ten pages. And then hopefully this will be up by the time the video is up. I think I'm going to title it Millefiori. Just um, very tiny floral patterns, kind of like a calico, which is something I always wanted. And a little show and tell. I started a new little journal here. Still have the needle and the thing. My table is a disaster. From these uh, I love these little pie pie packaging and I've walked past them a million times and thought when those make the cutest little journals. So I started that and uh, as you can see it's not put together yet. I started with four signatures designed my own paper for it and uh, decided to go with three. So I still have one there with the needle still in it. So that's a work in progress. Finally, finally took the time to do another journal, begin another journal. So today what you will need are some acrylic metallic paints, some pastel acrylic paints. I'm using gesso, but you can use matte white acrylic. A little text stamp. An embossing folder. And what you are going to do is pre-emboss your pieces. Just stick them in there. 
I usually give them a little squirt with water so I get a nice deep emboss. Emboss your pieces and you will have embossed pieces ready to go. Now these original ones, they were created <clears throat> from, they were repurposed from cards that didn't turn out. And here I still have some of those left. And those were embossing folders that were inked. So that's why they are dual color and why I went over these ones first with the gesso. <clears throat> so I think that's all we'll need. I think that's it. Um, trays to put your paints on, whatever you use. I usually use a plate. And I'm just going to gesso these up. You're going to want to have a cloth because your hands are going to get covered with paint. <clears throat> so I'm just going to gesso these lightly. And I am... <clears throat> I'm going to lose my voice today. I know it. Sorry. <clears throat> this this cold just doesn't want to go away. <clears throat> Sorry. But it just doesn't want to quit. <laughs> so I spent, I worked yesterday and then I kind of didn't feel good and I went to bed and this morning I was um, had my third year oven repair, <laughs> so I was dealing with the appliance repairman this morning. <clears throat> so please forgive, I'm scattered today. Yes, the, every three years he comes to replace the same part in the design to fail model, which goes along with the planned obsolescence model. So I'm doing the gesso first and I'm, I'm just skimming over the top lightly. And then these were the ones that were getting the pastel paint and the stamping, the text stamping, like so. So yes, the repairman writes on the stove. <coughs> And he even admits that it's because the part, I think it's plastic. So he says, yep, right on schedule. Because he writes on this stuff every time he comes to replace that. Every time he has something on the oven to fix and it's always the same part. <clears throat> I don't know if you saw that story on the internet that they are getting sued for fraud. LG, and I don't know why it's just LG because they all do the same thing whether it's your appliance, your car, or whatever. But this time they are actually getting, there's a class action lawsuit for fraud because apparently they have the receipts that it's designed to fail so that they can keep making money. Wish I had that, wish I could come up with that model. 
well no I don't actually because I'm not a grifter but <laughs> so I'm going to put those aside to dry this one I think I'll do this too these white ones I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do because I never actually did any white ones I don't know if I'll be doing those at all actually okay <clears throat> so these ones I'm going to do with the metal and they're curling because I gave them a little squirt of water and I'll just put those under a book and these ones do not get the gesso so I'm just going to choose three different types of metallic here and I usually go with this is antique copper I love this one I was wondering where it went and I finally found it way back in the back and um, this is, I know it's a gold, but I'm not sure which gold. Inca gold. I think this is a favorite. Must be because it's almost empty. I don't even know. There we go. Oh, yeah, that's. That's getting old. So maybe I better get another one out here too. Glorious gold. And these are, for the most part, deco art. Pretty sure most of them came from Walmart. Some might have come from Joann's. <clears throat> and then it's silver. I don't know where the other silver is. I don't like this one. It's so runny. But I'm going to use it anyway. And there's my metallic choices. I think I'm going to get, I also have a bronze. I'm going to get that too. So I've just been busy and oh geez look at that what is up with this maybe I won't be getting a bronze I never use these as you can tell rarely use them now that I have my pens, which are so much easier. So like once a year, I generally go through and throw away paint. I should use them. I haven't had time to do my jelly plate in ages. Okay. So then generally, I'm trying to remember which one I started with, I'm pretty sure I usually started with the gold. 
and I'm getting very, very thin. I'm getting a glob. And this is going to be difficult to see on camera. And I'm just skimming over the top. So that I'm trying to just pick up the embossed. Then I'm going to go in with the second color, which is silver. And then I'm just going to go in spots so that I get a mixed metal type look. And then last, Choose the copper. Usually I choose the copper or the bronze. Same thing. Just lightly. <clears throat> Let me stand up here. See if you can see that. So it's very, it's very random. And I'll put these over here to dry. Here's a flat one. So again, back to the gold. Just skimming. And the silver. Just going in places. And the bronze. I think I'm going to stick with the copper because it shows up more for your sake. And there we go. You have a mixed metal look. Okay. <coughs> Do one more gold. Let me try to get some of this. Maybe it'll show up better. Yeah, that's a little more gold there. Silver. Then copper. Okay. So you get your mixed metal. Okay. Oh, he's back already. I hear footsteps. Okay, I'm just cleaning my hands off here. Okay, so that's all I'm going to do for those for now. I'll finish the rest off screen. Now I'm going to um, put some pastel on these. These ones are more, I would say, like shabby chic. And I'm pretty sure I used pink. 
which I'm almost out of this pink. Love it. This is um, Dale or Rowney portrait pink. Um, I think I used this blue, but I'm not really sure. And I can't find another light blue. I'd have to turn that down. And then I just, uh, I have two, what's this one, cream. So I just kind of did the same thing, except I used pastels. I do have some yellow, but this is ancient. I don't even know if it's going to... No. I don't think I'm going to get anything out of there. So I'm just going to stick with these. And this is, this is a little thicker. to paint. Don't know if I'm going to get a good blend or not. Oh, and then I have to remember to show you how I did the patina on those metal ones. So there's two. I'm going to let that dry. Hopefully it dries fast. Try to get a little light blue on here, but oh, I don't want it that dark. Let's see if I can put some gesso in there. that blue turning it down <coughs> <coughs> sorry <coughs> turning it down as much as I can that blue go in here with cream some Mint green might be pretty, but I don't have any. I was just kind of looking for colors that I thought were shabby chic. I'm also trying not to lose all the gesso because that's where my text is going to show up the most when I stamp. Did I already do this one? Kind of looks like I did. Well, there goes my cream. I might have to gesso this one a little more. Okay, so I'm going to let those dry. And find a place to put that tray. And then I used um, Broken China. 
these are dry already. Find a blue here. And that is how I got my old patina on that metal. Do you see that? Old metal. And that worked really well. I mean, there is an ink. Pretty sure Tim Holtz has an ink called Patina. But I feel like this just really, really did the trick to giving me the effect I wanted. For that particular video, which was inspired by art jewelry. So there we go. There's another one. Old metal. And now I'm just going to see if these are dry. Dry enough. That one is. And then I went, I probably used stays on. I'm not sure though. Let me just get um Memento, see how that's going to work. Piece of paper here. This stamp has it. I just grabbed the easiest text stamp I could find. Okay. Looks like Memento is going to work. Whoops, that's not very good. <laughs> and then I just went randomly over each piece to do the text. <clears throat> Let me get another one that's dry here. And I try to keep it on the gesso spots. There's another one. So those are the shabby chic. Let's try it on this heart. And then you hear my husband coughing too. <laughs> this cold just doesn't want to go away. And there's another one. And then this is the last one. And tomorrow I'll be getting holes in my head. So you have to go to the dentist. And there's the last one. Make sure all of your paint is dry before you begin stamping. Otherwise you will end up with paint in your ink and you don't want that. So yeah, I'm gonna have fun tomorrow. I'll be going Going to the dentist and then going to mass with a
probably a headache and a mouth, sore mouth. But I'll survive. So, where are we? 31. Maybe I'll quick do one more here for you. So remember it is, oh I didn't try these leaves yet, so I'll do that. The gold, I began with the gold generally. Didn't want to do that. See, you end up literally wasting a lot of paint because you don't need that much. And then the silver. And I like the bronze as much as the copper, but... For your sake, the copper is showing up more. Because it appears to be a little darker. And you can, um, you can use, you can do these in whatever layers you prefer. Okay, everyone. I think that's it for the week. I don't know what I'll be doing next week. I'm hoping to get to the envelopes at some point here. But we will we shall see. Okay, Eve, I hope you found that helpful. I do use these quite a bit for various embellishments on cards and all kinds of things. Um, tags, envelopes, closures. I actually use these quite a bit. So, and you, as you see, you do, they don't have to be hearts. They can be any shape and um, yeah, I use them quite a bit. So it's probably a good thing that I'm replenishing my stash. Okay, everyone. Thanks a lot. I'll see you next time. Bye.